<laughs> but listening is a lot. Uh, listening really means that you have to decide who is more important. Amen. It will get listening demands that you give your full attention oh, to what is most important. True. So it's either you're listening to cricket, hmm. right. yeah. you laugh like you. That happens a number of times. <laughs> or you're listening to the wife. Yeah. And oftentimes as Christians, we have not prioritized what is most important. Yeah. So we want to listen to the world and we still want to listen yeah. to God and we still want to listen to somebody else and, and there are so many voices that we end up not listening to God. So God has to say the same thing over and over again but apparently it seems sometimes as if we are not getting the picture. Today we are dealing with the seven trumpets. Seven trumpets. We're through seven trumpets. The Bible says in the book of Revelation 11, Revelation 11, and the seventh angel sounded, and there was a great, great, and there were great voices in heaven saying, The kingdom of what? This world has become the what? The kingdom of what? And of his, and he shall what? Reign forever and ever. Verse 16 says, And the four and twenty what? Elders, and these four and twenty elders. The four and twenty elders which stand before God on their seats fell upon their what? Faces and they what? Worshipped God, saying, We give hands all God Almighty with what? Adam was and had to come because thou hast what? Take unto thee thy great power and has what? Great. Amen. Amen. Those Indians say, And the nations were. The time of the dead, and they, and that they should be judged, that thou shouldest give reward unto thy what? So as the what? The prophets, and to the saints, and to them that hear thy name, small and great, small and great, and shouldest what? Destroy them which what? Destroy the earth, and the temple of God of what? Open in heaven, and they will see in this temple the ark of the testament, that they was lightning and End of all things. See the first seven trumpets. I want to uh, say this. Let's read this quotation before we go any further. But I want it to be very clear what we would be dealing with today. Again and again I have been warned in regard to time setting. And there will never again be a message for, for the people of God that would be based on time. All right. Anyone who shall start up to proclaim a message to announce our day or year of Christ's appearing has taken upon a yoke and is proclaiming a message that the Lord has never given them. So we are not today talking about day setting. We are talking here about something else. Very good this about season, mm-hmm. not about date. Mm-hmm. Let's, let's continue. That's a good you see, Matthew chapter 16 says, He answered and said unto them, When it is evening, you say it will be what? Fair yeah. weather. For the sky is red. The sky is red. And in the morning it shall be foul weather today. For the sky is red and glory. Oh, ye hypocrites, you what? Discern the face of the sky when he come up. The what? Sign of the what? Of the time. So, so, so God is here saying that you are supposed to know what season you're in. Are you following me? I'm not giving you the opportunity to know the day or the time or the month, but you must know the season. 
he's going to come as, as a thief in the night. But, but, but all to them that look for his appearance, he is not going to come as a thief. Therefore, therefore, my brothers and sisters, the Bible is saying to those who look for Christ, to those who are watching and praying, they will know the season and when Jesus shows up, it will not be by surprise. They know the time, they know the signs. Yes. Yes. The times. Yes, sir. Great. Uh, I want to share with you, my brothers and sisters. Great. I want to share with you that every time prophecy has grown. That's true, preacher. Yes. 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 Except the half an hour. Yes. Yes. Which is in the seventh seal. Yes. Which takes place yes. with the seventh trumpet. Yes. Uh, tell us, tell us, preacher. Only the half an hour. But you see, every other time prophecy, you have time to repent. Yes. The last time prophecy, that's only half an hour. If an hour equals 14 days, half an hour will equal 7 days. Yes. Right. We'll come to that. Hmm. So the only last time prophecy, all the time prophecies, have already gone. Yes. The Bible says, Swear by him that liveth forever. Let's go to the last. That there shall be time no longer. You are out of time. Yet yeah, last night we spoke about that. That you are out of time. And for those who were not here, that it was clear from the word of God, from the word of God, that since we are out of time, the reason why there's time for somebody to come to Jesus and surrender to him, it means it means that you are living on borrowed time because of mercy. You were reminded last night that God is actually borrowing time from where? From eternity. And at the time, we should have been here already. We should have been in heaven already. But because of mercy, God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. He keeps borrowing time from eternity. Borrowing time from eternity for somebody to accept Jesus Christ. Or the fact that man was given credit when man sinned. Calvary, time added. After Calvary, time taken away. Given a credit of grace. But it leads, it will lead to justice. We spoke about the fact, we spoke about the fact, my brothers and sisters, that time is divided into seven parts. The time after Calvary is divided into seven parts. Five parts have already been gone. Most of the six are finished. We are living in the dregs of the sixth trumpet. We should not wait for the seven because Revelation 10 says when the seven comes, the mercy, the, 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 the mystery of God will be finished. So, the time remaining was divided from, from grace, from Calvary, was divided into seven parts, seven churches, seven seals, seven trumpets. It is interesting, however, that when we go to the seven plagues, that the seven plagues, it is as if God is saying, for every trumpet that you did not hear, I'm giving you a play. Let's let's turn our Bibles to Revelation chapter 16. <laughs> Revelation chapter 16. And the first went, verse 2. And put out his vial upon the earth. And there was a noisome and grievous song. But the first trumpet, something fell on the earth. God is now pouring out on the earth. You see, the first trumpet, a third part was affected. Those 
those who should have been submissive to Christ, but refuse to be submissive to Christ. But now God is pouring out His judgment on the whole world. You did not hear the trumpet. Now you are experiencing the plagues. You find you 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 go on to uh, right through and you go on to the, the, the second trumpet and the fire is poured upon the sea. And the third trumpet is upon the rivers and the fountains of waters. God's judgment is based upon the mercy that He has extended unto us. And based on the mercy, He brings final judgment. But before the plagues, before the plagues, uh, my brothers and sisters, probation notices. Before the plagues, before the coming of Jesus Christ, probation notices. And this is interesting, my, my brothers and sisters, because, because uh, the major chunk of prophecy is gone before 1844. The stars have fell and, and the sun was darkened and all of these things. And the message started to walk before 1844. Right. Probation is not going to close. And everybody said something. Yes. When a person receives the seed of God, he sees for eternity. Never want to be defied by the tempter's devices. Amen. When the Sunday law decree goes forward, the seal is the stamp is impressed. Their character will remain pure and faultless for eternity. Amen. Amen. At the Sunday law. Yes. Huh. Now if you are sealed at Sunday law, it means probation has closed. Are you following me? Yes. Because it closed at the mark of the beast for the seal of God. Yes. Let's, let's, let's. Mm. Unless we are daily advancing, we will not be ready, be ready later. True. Unless we are daily advancing in, in exempt, um, exemplification of the active Christian virtues, we will not recognize the manifestation of the Holy Spirit in the latter rain. True. It will be falling on hearts around us, but we will not desert it. That's right. True. If such, I only know that the work of Christ in the heavenly sanctuary will close soon, how differently they will have conducted themselves. How earnestly will they have watched? Yes. The Master, anticipating all this, gives them timely warning in the command to watch. Amen. He distinctly states that the, the suddenness of his coming. Let's uh, go down a little bit, little bit more. Okay, we are, we are dealing with, with the seal and so on. Well, we'll come to I know it's there, but we'll, we'll, we'll come to it. The master comes and instead of being ready to open to him immediately, they are locked in a worldly slumber and are lost at last. When you look at the Bible and the spirit of prophecy, you get the understanding that God is roughly giving the world 6,000 years. Yes, yes. So it's not going to see one. And a thousand years is going to be in heaven. True. Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, yes. You get that. Yes. Hmm. The challenge is, the challenge is, 6,000 years has already passed. And I'm repeating, we are living at a time of grace and mercy. Yes. So it has already passed. Right. For 6,000 years, is that what just said? Faith has built it upon Christ. For 6,000 years, floods and tempests and satanic wrath has beaten upon the rock of our salvation, but it stands a move. Roman says that knowing the time, what he says? That it's high time to what? Away from the sleep for what? Salvation is what? The point I'm making, my brothers, my brothers and sisters, is, is, is that we do not have time, and I'm repeating what I said last night, we do not have time to play around. That's right, that's right. That's right. You have to walk on the scene. Sure. Because time is 
official. That's right. Revelation, well, let's, con let's continue with this. Some will be saved and the door will be closed to others who will not enter. Right, that's right. The time of God's destructive judgment is a time of mercy for those who have no opportunity to learn what is true. Huh. I want you to hear this carefully. It's, true. it's a time of mercy for those who do not have the opportunity. Right. Amen. Therefore, most of you do not qualify. Mm. Have mercy. <laughs> Amen. Have have mercy. All right. <laughs> Amen. Are you listening to me? Yes. yes. Most of us do not qualify. Right. Tenderly will God look upon them who? Those who did not have the opportunity. Yes, that's right. For his hand of mercy is touched, his hand is still stretched out to say, by the door is closed to those who will not enter. That's right. That is those who have the opportunity but refuse the opportunity. Amen. Large numbers who will be, will be admitted, who in those last days will hear the truth for what? For the first time. That's right, that's right. So the door of mercy is will remain in a child for first time here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Let's read by four lines. Will be for those who have not early rejected it. The light that was shed upon the waiting ones penetrated everywhere, and those of the churches who had any light, who had not heard and rejected the trivial message, obeyed and left the world. Amen. 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 Those who did not have light. That's right. Did the Bible say that judgment would begin? Of Israel? Yes. 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 Didn't God say that? Yes. If it did, what stands to reason, my brothers and sisters, that, that, that for those who are seven day offenders, it would seem to suggest, it would seem to suggest that probation would be, would be called for us first. Yes. Yes. Have mercy. Yes. Have mercy, preacher. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mercy. True. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we can't wait for Sunday long at all. We have to be ready now. Amen. 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 Because when that time comes, that's for those who did not hear, who could not hear. That's for those who are hearing it for the first time. Yes. But how could God, how could God treat both of us in the same way we have been hearing the tree of message year after year? We have been hearing about the tree of the uh, tree of the days year after year. We have been hearing year after year the prophetic message of God and you want God to act with those who are ignorant as with, uh, the same as those who know it cannot be can't be right it can't be fair God in his judgment but his justice is saying you who know the truth come and get his word amen amen amen, amen. come I'm getting it. I want to read this portion. The events connected with the close of probation and the work of repairing for the time of trouble are clearly presented. But one that you have no more understanding of these important truths than if they had never been revealed. Mm. That's those who heard. That's right. Those who are hearing it. Right. Year after year. Mm -hmm. Month after month, decade after decade, yes. they are acting and they are relating to it as if someone had never heard it. True. But well, why is that? <laughs> Think what she says. Satan watches to catch away everyone. Impression. Everyone. Impression. Every impression. Every sermon that you hear. That's right. Everything that you read, through. every 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 concern that, 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 that someone came to you and addressed you about, he he is ready, stands ready to snatch that's it away. Right, that's right. That's right. That would make them what? 
Why is this a salvation? Yes, that's right. How many times we have heard a message that stirred our souls and after a few weeks we go back just to the same old thing? Yes. Because we, my brothers and sisters, have allowed the devil to snatch it away from us. Have mercy. To those of us who remain in this condition, the time of trouble will find us Already true. That's right. My brothers and sisters, it is so serious. Yes, definitely. Because we are living at a time when God, we, we, we heard last night, is fed up of the order of things. Yes. Mm-hmm. And the call is for somebody to make a choice now. Amen. Sometimes, my brothers and sisters, from sometimes the choice that we have to make yes. is, in, is in opposite to how we feel yes, yes, yes. and to what we want yes, in the moment. Yes, yes, yes. Oftentimes, but God is asking us to move by faith amen, amen. and not by feeling. Amen, amen. See, that's the critical thing. Yes. Yes. You're in your workplace and this beautiful damsel is, is at you, my yes, brothers. Yes, yes, He's yes. at you. Yes. And, and your feelings is saying to you, go after her. Yes, yes, that is true. But you see, faith in God Amen. must impose itself upon your feelings. Amen. Amen. So it really doesn't matter what you feel. Amen. You see, what happens, my brothers and sisters, what happens is, 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 that, is, that, is that the natural, the carnal, Truth is, you can be like Christ. Amen. 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 
that I will hold fast to God. And when tomorrow comes, the, when tomorrow comes, the promise is realized because if you give yourself in the today, He will handle the tomorrow. And it's a lie, it's a lie that, 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 that the devil has the church been leading. I'm not, and I want to quickly say our issue is not to work on being profitable. Amen. Our issue is to submit. Perfection is what God does. So that's God's business. So today I say, Lord, I'm giving my body, I'm giving my feelings, I'm giving everything to you. I'm putting everything in your hands. You fix it, Lord. And give me the power to submit. When, when temptation comes, I'm not answering to my feelings because I'm not a slave to my feelings. I'm a slave to God. So I'm answering to my feelings. So when temptation comes, I submit to God. Yes, sir. 
Yes, sir. People are sealing themselves yes. or choosing whether they are seen or marked. Mm-hmm. Yes. I want to repeat, Satan cannot seal. Uh, sure. Sure. Because he doesn't want spot. Uh, uh, <laughs> because a seal is a sign of ownership. Amen, amen, amen. It's a sign of, of probably a creator. Probably you created it. A seal is a sign of ownership. Amen, amen. So he can't seal us. True. But he can tattoo us. Uh, have mercy. Yeah. This last portion for there are many whom the spirit of God is trying. True. The time of God's destructive judgment is a time of mercy Amen. for those who have no opportunity to know the truth. True. Well, we went through that already. When the decree shall go forth enforcing the complete Sabbath, right. the Lord cried unto the angels, Messenger, war men against the words of the beast and his image. And the line will be clearly drawn. Yes. Those who still continue in transgression right. will receive the mark of the That's right, man. That's right. Mercy. One, two. Read this final portion. The prince of this world come and find it nothing. That's right. In me. There was in him nothing that responded to Satan's sophistry. True. He did not consent to sin. True. That even by a thought did he yield True. to temptation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The issue is yielding. True. Submitting. That's right. All God wants is for you to submit to him. Amen. For that's all you could do. True. There was in him nothing, not even in his thoughts. Christ's humanity yeah. was united with divinity. Yeah. He was fitted for a conflict by the indwelling yeah. of the Spirit. Amen. Yeah. And he came to make us partakers yeah. of what? By the right. yeah. 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 Praise the Lord. So he came to make us as impregnable as he yeah. is. Yeah. 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 So long as we unite. To him Amen. by faith. Amen. What is faith? Faith is believing the word of God. Amen. Faith is trusting the word of God. Faith Amen. is building your life on the word of God. Amen. Amen. Sin has no more dominion over us. Amen. God reaches for the hand of faith Amen. in us to direct it to lay fast Amen. hold upon the divinity of Christ. Amen. That we may attain the perfection Amen. of character. Amen. We're going to make an appeal now. I want the song.